We got a lot of twatness happening. Activision, they just peaced out. We got Call of Duty stuff. We got free games, free PlayStation Plus, Xbox stuff, God of War stuff. We have a lot to go over. And all I'm going to say is that don't miss number one spot because we have a certified hood classic. And we're also running a limited time offer. Those of you that will be smashing like and hitting the subscribe bell, you'll be getting free 1 million social credits for absolutely free of charge. <laughs> So you better run a fast, okay? But coming in at our number nine spot, I mean, God damn, man. Sheena came on because we have another rumor situation happening. And Sheena is very credible when it comes to like Fortnite news. But I mean, damn, homie. Microsoft wants to put more Xbox Bethesda characters into Fortnite. Bro, like Phil Spencer, what you're doing, man? Was Master Chief not enough? Was Kratos not enough? I get it that Kratos is Sony Pony out there. But you get my point, right? Like Kratos got his nuts clipped. Master Chief got his nuts clipped. This is blasphemy, okay? We have a homie trying to DDT the PlayStation players out here by saying that PlayStation players, when they realize that they won't be getting exclusive styles, console wars are a mega hell. You're telling me we could have this PlayStation is better. <laughs> My god, these are the same people that will be fighting over like consoles while scrolling through Tinder. I mean, god damn, but also AMD CEO Lisa Su thinks that 2023 will be the peak year for PS5 and Xbox Series hardware demand. AMD is expecting another strong year for Sony and Microsoft in 2022, which is actually pretty good. And you know what? That has started like some rumors about, yo, are we gonna get PS5 Pro? Not really. It's not gonna be about PS5 Pro, but I'm just saying, can we not have that many shortages going for PS5 and Xbox Series X? Is, is that too much to ask? Can a brother perhaps see everybody having like PS5 and Xbox Series X so we can actually get some real next-gen games? That's all I'm asking. I mean, smash the like button if you agree. And Bobby, 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 and Bobby out there. Call of Duty, listen, man. They have officially pieced out. I thought that they pieced out from Call of Duty's multiplayer, but this time, they also pieced out from their microtransactions, which is absolutely wild. Vanguard's $20 yarn burner skin is so broken that it cannot be equipped. My god, somebody throw a flashbang on me because I thought that they were all about making money. I thought that they were all about microtransactions, listen. And that now we're hearing that even the Santa Slay bundle doesn't even let you use your new paid skin. It's kind of good that they pieced out from these uh, microtransactions and they kind of quit on it. But at the end of the day, man, there would have been so many kids out there that actually stole their mommy's and daddy's credit card to buy these skins out there, and now they cannot actually equip these skins. I mean, damn, homie, even the microtransaction skins are not working in this game, bro. That is that is wild. I always thought that the store was a priority. Speaking of gamers having patience, you know that a lot of people. Would say that uh, gamers do not have any patience whatsoever to a certain extent it's kind of true but listen man the amount of patience a gamer has i don't think anybody has because now we're in that despite everything cyberpunk 2077 was a steam top seller and most played title in 2021 and uh, shout out to the homie fighter fps for adding me in the situation and i mean people are loving it nobody's doing german suplexes nobody like throwing rocks at each other homie says that greatest game of all time ruined by the millions of rockstar casual how dare you blame the rockstar players out there okay this is such a low blow and i was appreciating the homies out there oh i mean oof, that that ended that that ended well out it took one year so you cannot tell me that gamers don't have patience the amount of patience gamer has one year I think that's enough okay like you pay 70 bucks for the game and the game doesn't work you wait a year and now everybody's loving the game there are a lot of homies that have picked this game on sale people are loving it and understandably so because right now the optimization is good that's kind of like what I'm hearing across the street nobody's really complaining about it but let's be real man we need a better cop system because the cops are spawning right out of everybody's bum hole I mean what the flip is that can a brother perhaps see a real cop system in this game I know that dev recently came out and check it. Uh, well, Sonic and Elden Ring don't have a cop system, so we're not gonna do it. Get them all, okay? <laughs> Apparently, God of War Ragnarok has been rated M for 18 plus by the official account of the age classification of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I mean, damn. I mean, I mean, damn, homie. Those oil prints out there would be loving this game. Listen, man, I'm really excited for this game, and I also covered the story the other day, but obviously, now that we're on the topic of God of War, PlayStation Game Size has confirmed that, according to PlayStation, 
PlayStation database, God of War will be coming on September 30th, 2022. And this is most likely a placeholder, and I'm suspecting that this game is set for Q3. This is why they're using the end date of Q3, which is September 30th. So it could come out in July, August, or September. And if the Roni picks back up once again, which it really is picking up right now, make sure you guys are washing your hands before smashing the like button. I definitely do not want anyone to catch the Roni, okay? So if the Roni picks back up, we're likely gonna see another delay, which I really hope we don't. Also, Elden Ring creator came out, and I quote, says that I probably won't end up playing Elden Ring because it's a game I've made myself. This is the sort of personal policy I have. And all I'm saying here is that, homie, just, just play it maybe once because once you play it, my guy, you're gonna understand what everybody's complaining about because let's be real, people will be complaining about once this game comes out. This month's free games has been confirmed for PlayStation Plus, Deep Rock, Dirt 5, Persona 5. Yep, it was leaked the other day and I did cover the story, but now it is officially confirmed. I mean, leaks are always ahead, but homies are not feeling it, man. Man says that worst month in a long time. That, <laughs> that chat peak gamer moment, ladies and gentlemen. And speaking of peak gaming moments, listen, man. We're hearing that some PlayStation Plus users are getting free subscription extensions for the holidays. And in fact, this homie came out over on Reddit and says that has anybody else gotten this? And I actually double checked. And personally, I don't think I've gotten. I'm still waiting. Uh, has any of you got this one? I'm still waiting for mine because maybe I can I, I can get that too. Because seriously, man, this homie has gotten his extension or PlayStation Plus subscription by 10 days. And I'm sitting here. I'm like, can a brother perhaps see a 10 year extension? Uh, I'm just saying. Smash the like button if you agree. And coming in at our number one spot, the most anticipated gaming story of them all. People are saying this is a certified hood classic. And before I get into that, I just want to say I've been uploading reaction videos left and right because gaming is really dry right they are some of the most fun I've ever had making so definitely check them out on the channel I want to make more of those videos alongside these news videos just trying to give you that dope me excuse me please one other way right. yo that car is really it's beautiful that dude. a 6.2 oh liter my god, V8 that with engine. horsepower the grand oh my god <laughs> that engine is good <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I did not hit you her. The it's homie not in. true. It's both. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, what Mark. the flip? Yo, are we? My guy be playing GTA 7. God damn. God damn, bro. Yo, what are these memes, man? <laughs> uh, it's just Mike. Yeah. Literus. Easy, I'll pull that out when you're ready. Thank you. Mike Litteris. Mike Lit. <laughs> <laughs> and also, shout out to the homie Ezekiel. I told him that I will hit him up with a shout out, and uh, his birthday is coming up on January 6th. But for this story, you might want to stand down, also known as sitting down, because listen, I got a DM last night from a homie, and he sent me this picture, bro. This is a certified hood classic. I'm only... I didn't know that was a thing. I, I didn't know that was a thing, okay? This is apparently a Twitch category where people sleep and stream and even that is having more viewers. Battlefield and Call of Duty is getting bodied hard. I, I just cannot believe it, man. But click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. Just click it, man. You're gonna 